Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the strongest carries in Zao build in the game right now. We don't have a potion starting out here because there was a bit of a weird invade, but we can still make it work because Zen is such a healthy farmer. For our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, Cosmic, Attack Speed, 80, and Armor. Zen can normally do around a 320 full clear with Leash or a 325 to 330 without Leash. Zen Jungle is incredibly good at scaling because of Ravenous Hydra, which is our build for this game. Ravenous Hydra, Gore Drink into Death's Dance for maximum carry potential and shred potentials and Zao can do some pretty crazy things whether you're playing him with lethal tempo or conquer very good results with both of them i lean a little bit more towards lethal tempo with the synergy it has with your q knockup and with your passive i feel like it's a little bit better than conquer's additional healing because ultimately you need to land your knockup asap so you can land your w which is ultimately your main source of damage because you're gonna be maxing that first anyways around for the second auto here if you're starting on your red buff side you should get w level two on your blue buff side getting q level two is much better because they're not having to kill multiple monster camps like with the wraps and the crux where there's a lot of duplicates just what i found works best we got our w next we're gonna max w first because damage per level and cooldown gets kind of nutty Pull them together with an auto attack then w since our e's on cooldown if our e was up we could go over the wall with it whenever your w hits a large monster or a champion it gives you vision and also increases your dash range quite a bit canceled my auto on him because we didn't need to auto attack q reset against monsters you always want to use your e and w first then q to put them on a lower cooldown against champions you use your w last because you don't want to miss them dodging it if they dodge it once again your w is your main source of damage and it absolutely needs to land we can go right over the wall there and even though we had a weird star and not the best leash ever we can still do roughly a 320 325 which is fine by me yeah about a 325 not bad Another point to our W, not many champs can solo Zen Zao on a 1 vs 1 to the death, level 3, level 4. Warwick and Nocturne are two of the main ones, and kind of Wukong. Echo definitely can't, though, I'll tell you that. Trying to push this away from where he'd be coming from. Looks like he pathed into his bot side. Probably ended up skipping his Krugs. We have nothing to gank here, so... Might as well reset... Nice, into the W. She's gonna charm me, of course. I wasn't able to pinch, but he got in the last auto attack. And she turned around to dump abilities on us. We could have potentially ghosted and gotten the knock up. It just didn't seem like it was worth it. Oh, he left his Raptors, that's convenient. Or maybe they spawned back in, they're level four. Okay, so his Raps actually spawned back in. Maybe, he, I guess he just did red Raps and now they're up. I don't know. Cause they're level four is the thing. The camp will end up respawning even if you leave one, so that will reset for him. I could time this with the uh, with the Lux triangulate it. I, it's gonna cost me 15 or 20 seconds, but I mean, if we can get a double or a triple, it could be worth it for sure. I'm surprised Echo's still staying there. It's kind of bizarre. Oh, this is warded. They're all grouping on me. Um, I'm gonna potentially die here. I'll just get the knock up and run. We got her ignite, so it's fine, I guess. We'll eat away. I was on a ward. I'm a little surprised that defensive tri brush was warded. It makes me think something in this area was warded for them to be standing up there like that. Because that was super, super early reaction, I'd say, from them. I'm gonna die. Psych. Got the level up. It's time to reset, though. I overstayed my welcome. It would have been absolutely 100% perfect if they didn't know I was coming. The fact that Echo stayed and then they all triangulated on us, that made that kind of hard. First item back, you're typically looking for as much of your Ravenous Hydra as you can get. I usually lean more into a team map purchase. As weird as it sounds, team map's kind of more useful than having a Vampiric. Even though Vampiric's cheaper. It's because you don't really need the self-healing on Zen. 
I didn't have any items there and I could still heal off of the monsters pretty efficiently. Our top laner dies. TF goes in for the bot lane roam. I'll take Gromp into Scuttle Dragon here. If he takes my camps, it will be slower. Invading enemy's jungle isn't quite as efficient as it's been in previous seasons. You take enemy jungle camps 20% slower than you take your own, or you could view it as you take your own camps 20% faster than the enemy camps. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just take Dragon. It's a level 6 Dragon. Should be able to make it work. As long as their bot lane doesn't rotate on me. Echo's seemingly trying to gank Irelli again. She has flash though, so... Ooh, that was really good. Renekton lost a lot of HP there. Echo's gonna wait for level 6, it seems. We're not even really losing that much HP to this dragon here. Very close to full health. I'll attack Q reset. Should have used my W there before that second empowered Q auto. Imagine Irelia wants me to come up there right now. I'm just on the opposite side of the map. It's gonna be hard for me to get over there. Could probably dive with TF. TF gets the stun card. Get the knock up. Slow on the Tark. I need someone else to kind of go in on him here. That was a good Luxar there. That was good. Really well played. Got out the Taric Ignite. They die. I really somehow man. Ooh, I wasn't looking at all. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's one of the downsides to not being on lock screen at times is you'll miss things that are right in front of you. I have no clue if she even used Flash or R to get to me there. It's time for Caulfield's Hammer. We'll pick up Control Word. Uh, we'll head over for Red Buff. I don't want him to pick that up thinking we overstayed topside. He hasn't actually spent his gold yet, so he probably didn't stay for my jungle. He'd be clearing it really, really slow. Got to make sure not to stick around on the map on certain champs like that. It's going to be doing very, very little damage with that setup. Drag Soul is the easy win con for our team. I think we can out 5v5 them. Zin Zhao's 5v5 is absolutely insane. He's one of my favorite kind of scaling late game 5v5 junglers. Super straightforward, super sticky. And very tanky if you're using your R properly and timing it. Everyone outside of the circle can't damage you in any way, shape, or form, but they can't CC you, which is where the green jungle item does come into play with its tenacity. Plus the shield on it makes you very tanky. I don't think the red and blue one are worth taking on the majority of champions. The green one's super high value. Until they make it scale off of your HP or armor, it's going to continue to be the best one in the game. Because squishies can take it and get the same value tanks are getting out of it, if not more, since squishies have access to better items than tanks, in my opinion. Items like Heart Still have already been heavily nerfed, where if you look at Heart Still's win rate on a lot of tank junglers right now, Jack Show is a much stronger item. Because they simultaneously nerfed Heart Still twice and buffed Jack Show twice as well. So. I'm not crazy about Heart Still anymore. I think we all knew it wasn't going to last forever how good it was, but I was hoping it would last a bit longer than it did. You could still take it on Zen and get decent results, but you might as well just go heavy self heal. So heavy self heal is super over tuned. Uses the Taric R. I can chop this R up. I'm blocking her off. Hey, R. I'll pop them with my R. They're doing zero damage to me and I'm tanking like crazy. Down he goes. That's the power of Echo R. I mean, uh, Zin Zhao R in a nutshell. Is if you position it properly, you can take so much aggro and they do literally zero damage. R wasted her abilities. Their uh, Draven couldn't follow up. If their team is literally full melee, then sure, your Zin Zhao R isn't going to be giving nearly the same value because they're going to mob you down with their autos. But even against melee, since your R pushes everyone away from you other than the most recent target you hit, even against melees, it buys you a lot of time. Plus, a lot of melee champions have ranged attacks, whether it be Mundo Cleaver, GP, Barrels, GP, uh, Pistol Shot, or whatever. That type of thing. Probably push mid here. 
I think I accidentally showed out a bush there. Dragon's coming up. Maybe I should just reset for drag fight. I mean, it's fine for now. We'll push Ravenous into their team. They have a lot of stuns. Zin Zhao, when you're in your R, you can still be CC'd. So most bruisers lean towards plated because plated is way over tuned with 12% damage reduct against auto attack and auto attack based abilities. However, with Zin, since you already, you're not taking a lot of damage in your R, Merc Treads are usually what you lean into. They have Renekton Stun, Echo Stun, Ari Charm, uh, Taric Stun, plus Taric Slow on his Keystone. We're getting very high value. We also didn't take Tenacity in our runes. If you take Tenacity in your runes, that's usually when they have CC, but you want to go for Plated. Otherwise, Alacrity is going to give you way higher damage output, especially with Lethal Tempo. On your auto attacks, W max into E max, Q max last. Draven's bot side, we could just take Dragon here. They can't post up the fight for it. We don't have to do a crazy dive or anything. It's kind of on them to make something crazy happen. We can just coast. Smites up and ready to use. I really dumping wave. They don't seem to be converging on this one at all. Looks like they're just giving it up. Yep. I'll play around TF. He's the most killable person. If I was on the enemy team, I'd kill him. Pretty immobile, and he's also going AD, apparently. Or kind of supporty with rapid fire cannon for the increased range to maybe get around the Ari charm distance. Very peculiar build. You don't see it often. Auto attack Q reset. We dashed a little bit early. Popper with my R. Get yeah. Ooh, Ari's gonna die here. We get her with a knockup and a W. Down she goes. We were able to soak a lot of aggro and still output pretty crazy damage. TF really just stole all those at the red car. That was a rat move. Should take his minions for that. Guess that could help him with turret. Get some plates while those are still up. Terex underneath it though. I think he's the t I think the Tarek's trying to lose now or, or he's baiting the game's not over for them echo does have good scaling I just don't think echo outscales Zen in particular Zen R can kind of give him fits again Renekton he's plated but he's not full item he's at a 960 health we're at 1300 we should have him I gotta hold on to dash auto attack Q reset Get the knock up in a W, and we can hold on to E to close distance, just like we did there. And catch him out. He was lined up with the wall. Straightforward skill shot. He had no dashes left. My E was about to be up, but we still had Ghost to burn. He was not going to live in that situation. If we end this game pre-25, we'll go ahead and do a part two. Auto attack Q reset. Get that extra damage. Holy moly. The attack speed on the minions. I'll stay for the wave. I'm already here. Renekton's dead. We can dump this wave. There's no reason for another teammate to walk up here when we've already spent the time to come here. This turret is absolutely gone, and I can't stay because the enemies are missing. We don't want to get four man collapsed on, sitting on 2k gold. Jungle item's almost up. I have a feeling they gave up. Because I don't see any of them on the map. Oh, it's warded. That sucks. Now they know I'm here. They're not even that far behind. They're pretty much tied up in CS, even though we have double their kills. If you're tied CS, you're not really behind. Because if three of us die just once, they get all of our shutdown and they're back in the game. 100%. I don't plan on throwing my shutdown, though. <laughs> I'm gonna spend my gold before I do a crazy fight that way they won't be able to get my shutdown I'm also gonna finish my jungle item before we fight and we finished it there off that camp Very nice We also have the drag soul win con just show up the drag and force them to push us off of it and then they'll all die Draven's on the bot split if he stays I'll ghost out and kill him Dealing with a Lux Jin is kind of hard. If either one of them lands a snare, the other one lands it for free. The best thing you can do to shut down a Zin Zhao 
is to get an absolute beef beefy boy like a wukong in there popping down double r's with his clone it makes it really hard for zen to do anything it's hard to also cancel the wukong dash because it happens so fast with the zack dash you can cancel it with your r pretty consistently stacked up ready to fight some of them aren't even full item yet Ari, Ari in the tart we can destroy them we're nearly too full item right now with jungle item complete so i see junglers caring so hard lately because they get that free infinite item oh it's like junglers get seven items and everyone else in the game only gets six that's the difference 20 percent tenacity and plus this flat shield May not be the best item in the game, but it's not the worst either. Got the flank on Echo here. Got the knock up and a W. Down he goes. Be disciplined against champions. Always try to knock up before W unless you have to use W to get to them in the first place since it's a slow and extends E dash. In a perfect world, you shouldn't be going to situations unless you can come up behind them. But you don't always have that choice. Sometimes you might be trying to save a teammate. Or maybe they burned all of their mobility to get away from you before you could uh, touch them. Renekton's about to walk into me. I should have used my dash sooner and I used my W late. He kind of stunned me right as I went to do it. Get the knock up in the W. Down he goes. He doesn't have the items to fight us. He can't even solo us with the plated advantage. I have quite a bit more gold spent. 2,500 or 2,000 more spent than him at the moment. Also have a full stack uh, Ravenous Hydra. Just putting in some work. Oh, that's cute. Echo, that's real cute. We get the knock up, whip my R, now R can't hurt me, and then they die, and we're full health. It's all about the R timing. Do it when you can sense your impending doom. There's big skill, big skill shots coming your way, and the enemy's collapsing around you. Like the R skill shots did zero damage. Simultaneously, it pushed Raven back because he knew if his autos would do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just need five more minutes for Drag Soul, which will be 24 minutes ish. End of the game. Yeah, about 24 more mins. Or at the 24 minute mark. <laughs> That's a fast Drag Soul. We took the first dragon sooner than I would normally like to. It was only because their jungler was lingering topside for so long. Typically, I don't like taking the first dragon pre 6 because it delays your level 6 quite a bit. I don't have R here, so there's no reason to force a crazy fight. Just back off. Nothing to really fight for here. He didn't juke that at all. Pop him back with R. Tarek is not wanting to commit there. He's trying not to ruin his KDA, I think. That was just a dumb fight for me. There's nothing to gain there. Even if we kill two of them, then what? Can I move my Iron Spike Whip to a more useful slot? It's less damage than an auto <laughs> by a lot. It is more range than your autos. You typically use it last in the combo. They really need to buff this item because when you have it this late into the game, it's so useless. Almost third the damage of my base auto damage. It's kind of nuts. And it doesn't apply on hit effects either. And you have to stand still to use it. Pretty weak. He stands still, we pop him with a W, EQ. We might just end here. I think this is going to be a pre-25, so we'll do part two. Only threw out a max range W because she was stepping up, and if I missed it, there was no downside. On all of these, there's no pressure that they have, and we're hitting their base, so... Pressure's on them to do something. Can get the gore drink now we could legit 1v3 or 4 now once we get the gore drink we'll be full stack lethal tempo i kind of want to go black cleaver next cleaver or shojin is super freaking good third item on this type of zen build cleaver gives around 30 ability haste 
Shojin gives around 30 or 40 ability haste depending on your ability. My Q would probably be around 30. My rest would be around 40 total. Let's you be super sticky, hop around. Because my Q is already turning my 6 second cooldown on E into 3 and my 5 on my W into a 2 second cooldown, which is kind of crazy. Oh, that was a good guess. Couldn't reach her either. Oh no, she got my health. <laughs> oh, Echo got blue buff rip. Unfortunate. Really just waiting for Draxel at the moment. They're, they haven't given up, but at the same time, their morale's really low. Also, I don't know why I was maxing Q second. You should always max E second on Zin. Q second max on Zin is kind of pointless. We get the knock up and a W. E Gore Drink. I'm on Ghost Extensions here. I'm still on Ghost Extensions. On even more Ghost Extensions, we could run them down here in a second. This is just an end. I still have R. Ari doesn't have R. Tarek doesn't have R. Draven is one full item, and it's a maxed out Hydra. It's not particularly weak. He cs to well enough. Hey, you're dead. Ah, dang. Not quite. She barely was able to slip her way out of that one. Yeah, I'll take that. Dash out. We're good to go. Tanked some aggro, did some damage, and we get away with the crime. Let's end it pre-25 quick. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, that's a GG's. GG's well played. There, Tarek really gave up mentally. What a goofball. All right, guys, I'll see you in part two of Zin Zhao Jungle, Ravenous into Gore Drink. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two, up against a Viego Jungle this time. I'm pretty happy with our comp. Vigar plays extremely well into all these short range characters. I would consider even Draven a borderline short range champion, at least compared to the Vi Cage. We should do well against the Viego. We can look for one, v for one versus ones and two versus twos and even out team fight as long as we focus him down. Early in the team fight, if Viego starts snatching bodies, then there's really not a single champion in the game that can out team fight him. Literally. <laughs> He's impossible to out team fight if he starts snatching. He gets R resets, gets to blow all four, all three of their abilities, gets his R reset, and then gets to blow all of his abilities when coming out. So pretty rough to deal with. Same rune setup, lethal tempo, triumph, alacrity, coup de gras, free boots, cosmic, attack through the alien armor. The only other viable secondary page on Zin Zhao, I find, is the, re the resolve tree with things like conditioning. Revitalize, and if you really want to, you could go Overgrowth instead. Overgrowth is decent as well. We're going to start with E and do EQ. Looks like he went for Blue Jungle Smite, which doesn't actually give any damage, so we should that much more comfortably be able to solo him. I actually like playing against Blue Jungle items, or even the red ones, because I find the green ones much better than red because of the tenacity. 4% max health true damage on a relatively long cooldown doesn't seem that good to me either. So I don't really take the red one very often. Only on certain junglers. I'm starting to find that even green jungle smite on Eve is oftentimes worth it. Especially if the enemy team has one or more hard point and click CC champs like Fiddlesticks or an Annie. To where that extra 20% tenacity and shield can make the difference between you losing 10 mesh stacks and throwing shot down and not dying at all. Which is kind of nuts. If you are on your red buff side, make sure you get W level 2 on blue buff side get q level two there used to be a more important back when krugs the big one was split into two mediums but now that the big one splits in the small ones it's not as important he's on cooldown so we can't flip flop over the wall with e dash so instead we'll just walk up auto attack into w pull them together just like so Pretty healthy. You still want to try to move around and whatnot. That we're not taking too much extra damage. 
Auto attack Q reset. Pull, always try to pull it into the brush so you don't get cheese. You never know if the enemy jungle is going to do a stupid route. I've been invaded by three camp clear Viegos before. It's really silly when it happens. It does happen though, so you got to be ready for it. Straight over the wall. And with Leash, Zin, I find he normally does around a 320-ish. Without Leash, it's 325, 330. So here is about 320 because we're still kiting it over. Should still be able to get a scuttle on time. Another point in W. Still have potion and absolutely full HP because it's a farming beast. He's dead. He's going to have to flash. Yeah, he flashed. I wasn't going to be able to keep up with him since Flash can go over walls and Ghost isn't very strong in the first early levels. He's going to lose double Scuttle and he doesn't have Flash now. I knew, like I said, if I Ghosted, he's just going to Flash the long work and be able to keep up. I'll take double Scuttle plus sending him back any day. I could help Vague shove there potentially. I could stop Thresh as well. Is he really? Oh, okay, he's trying to finish pushing the way. That's a bad idea. I ghosted really early. Ghost last 10 seconds. He's suiciding. <laughs> All right. It is what it is. Someone must have pinged I was coming, or maybe there's a ward in that brush, but that's pretty funny. He did get my ghost, so <laughs> I guess kudos to him. That's pretty hilarious. Willing to sacrifice his KDA for the better of the team. I respect it. Hey, friend. Get the knock up in the W. And he's a fool. He, should, he wanted to turn so he could heal. There's a minion in the way of Thresh. And now they all die. A fake has cage. Oh, okay. Thresh gets it. That's good. Thresh did get the red buff. It's a decent cage from Vague, but is it decent enough? And the answer is, and no, no, it's not good enough. <laughs> that was a huge enemy bot lane rotation. Holy crap. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. I was using that minion to kite it out. Soraka decides, you know what? I'm going to rotate late to where my teammates have been dead for 15 seconds, and then I'm going to go in and try to solo 1v3. So she just straight up ran it down there. This might be a Soraka bot, literally. There's a lot of uh, a lot of bots in ranked modes these days, so who knows? It's already 0 and 3. I would not be surprised if that was a literal Soraka bot just running it down. Yeah, I'll pay attention to that. Try not to let it affect my thought process too much. Draven got so fed off that, it's kind of crazy. Thresh is just roaming around. <laughs> Viego's about to get the freest win of his life, potentially. Yeah, that's a Soraka bot. If you notice how long it stayed in base. Oh, man. That's rough stuff. Whenever you guys see stuff like that, you just got to report it. That's all you can do. It is really annoying, though. It's a big waste of time. Unless you're... Uh, unless you and your teammates are combined, able to lift a 4v5. Oh, it's worded, dang. At least now we know. Uh, maybe it's not a Soraka bot. That didn't look like something a Soraka bot would do. I should use my W sooner against the Scuttle. That's my bad. Should have E W then queued. Was Wing late as if it were a champion that was gonna dodge my W to off from the get go. I'll ghost for this. I don't think he has flash either. <laughs> What's with these people not wanting me to get assists? Like Silas literally was just like, nah, I don't want Jin to get it. It's like, dude, you're giving, you'd rather your laner get the kill than me. What a dirt bag. I gotta get this in British ASAP. I'm sitting on a lot of gold to where fighting Vago here would not even be easy. I'm sitting on 1k. He has just as much gold nearly spent as I do. 
I don't know why he's not over here though. Maybe he's brush camping. I'm not sure if I should trust this Soraka, but in theory, this should be a good gank. 3v2. These guys have no R's. I mean, it would be particularly good if they my teammates followed me, but... Alright, it was good. Soraka is not a bot, confirmed. Yeah, we just gotta leave him be. She's not a bot. She must have just been laggy before, dude. Because she actually was playing there. Draven lost his uh, adoration. I don't think he got any kills either, so he got banged out there pretty hard. Getting 13 mana back per second since we're in jungle. I can already tell Draven's going to be their best player. GP probably number two. Only reason why Draven CS is solo is he has two devs. GP shouldn't be a huge issue. I could focus him down in a fight if he's getting off really good barrels. I've noticed first strike GPs tend to finish their build super early in the game for literally everyone else even if the gp is kind of low cs low kills first strike is a lot like having three kills three or four kills for free by the time it's the mid game and its damage isn't bad on champs like gp either viego gets dragon makes sense i haven't spent my gold yet we're sitting on a full ravenous so i'll reset here in a second there's no reason to stay on the map with this much gold when I could be stacking up my Ravenous. Oh man, they get a double just like that, eh? Thresh must have landed hook on one of them and then they decided to full commit instead of sacrificing. Rip. Dang, bro. I gotta reset. Ganking top doesn't make sense. I really kind of has him pushed in. For the most part, he's playing safe other than that random Q. Time for Ravenous. We gotta push for uh, plated for sure this game. Draven GP. Draven GP, Viego, three physical damage champs. They only have one magic, which is, I guess, one and a half being Thresh and Silas. I don't think their Silas is any good, though. He's in incredibly greedy from what I've seen so far. He would rather coin flip than guaranteed live and just be behind. Hey, friend. I used my dash a lot earlier than I would have liked to, just because I didn't want him to kill my teammate. Get the minions low for him. I couldn't get the Thresh. Maybe Draven kept running forward to save Thresh, because if Draven and Thresh both ran the same way, I would have killed them both. I assume that's what it is. Usually, champions like Draven and Thresh duo together. It's very, very common. They're both kind of terrible champions. They're only good if you have high synergy with your teammates and League is not a high synergy type of game. Because both of the champions fall off if you're wondering why I said they're both terrible champions. Hey friend, you wanna stand inside of that? Please don't die, Ezreal. Please don't die, Ezreal. Please, 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 please. No. Bro. You can't. Like, not like that, Draven. That's just unreal. Draven was already low health. Thresh was dead, and he just straight up wins 1v2. Oh, man. Notice how I'm not typing, though. Typing never helps, ever. If you need to communicate something, just use pings. Typing stresses your teammates out. And there's no way to convey tone when you type. Everyone just assumes the worst a lot of the time, especially if they're already feeling like they're not performing. These two are taking mid. Can I fight that? Neither one's a full item. Silas just wasted his abilities, too. I need to get on him ASAP. Yeah, I, I couldn't do anything. I didn't have R. I also went in slightly too early. 
Vagar couldn't collapse in time because I just was a little too early on it. Draven has a colossal item advantage on the Ezreal here. Thresh is landing hooks on Ezreal in what universe? I don't understand. Like, how is he landing hooks on Ez? At least we're getting gold off the Draven. Like, that's the good thing. We're counter punching their biggest puncher at the moment. Getting a decent amount of gold off of it. I just don't understand. Like, Ezreal blink directly counters Thresh Hook. And just blink into his turret and Thresh can't really follow it up. I don't really care if he freezes. I can just come back. It doesn't matter. That is unreal, dude. Oh, it's unreal, brah. It's a one for one. I guess it's not. I guess it's worth. Their Thresh is giving us a, a much higher value than Soraka. Plus, Thresh is on a longer respawn. Somehow, Vagar died solo underneath turret. Ezreal gets the kill. What a fiesta type of game. Might be able to actually kill Draven solo here. Got a quite the level advantage. Just depends on if he keeps pushing. Yeah, he's trolling. We get the knockup. He decides he wants to die for the turret. That was not worth it at all. Because now they lose Dragon. He's the most valuable player on their team in terms of gold. And he's like, ah, dang, I missed position. So he gave up heal and died and gives Dragon for what? For a turret? An outer turret he was going to get anyways versus my really good, talented bot lane. Very nice. That's the win con, baby. Just make less mistakes, regardless of how your teammates are playing. If you spend less time typing and getting angry, just make the right decision. Because the odds are, not every game, you can't win every game no matter how good you are. But the odds are the enemies are making mistakes as well, if not as many mistakes you're just not noticing it since your teammates are the ones dying but if you notice every time draven goes in to kill my teammates he's putting himself in a position where we can easily kill him because he's forcing so hard and that's oftentimes what happens when the enemies are ahead so forced very very hard and i can't move and i'm dead and i threw <laughs> zero follow-up as well i thought i'd have more time to whittle down thresh but realistically i shouldn't be fighting with 5k gold Huge Irelia R, very nice. Vague Cage, massive Irelia Teleport. I don't know if she could have played that any better than she did. I was seeing Faker in the flesh there. Big R in the outer space and a huge TP moves. Very impressed. And since her flash was down, I'm not quite sure why she was even using a summoner spell there. There's no summoner spell to use logically. It's not like, oh, she fat. She was trying to flash and she fat fingered. It's like, bro, her flash was down. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. But hey, at least we have dra a dragon. We can play for Draxel Wincon. I almost have full jungle item as well. Kind of mad that I lost half my Rav stacks. It's very upsetting. Is GP really staying to annoy me? Does he not? He doesn't realize that's warded. You're dead. I'm going to hold on to my E. I think he was about to flash the wall as he got closer and closer. I can't do anything here. Abs, I can't do anything against Thresh Draven. Draven's way too fed. Especially with Thresh flaying me off of him. If it was solo, I could absolutely trash Draven even though he has more gold spent. But it's obviously not a solo fight. They're going to get that Herald, of course. Vigar, please tell me you have more than 100 AP from passive. Oh, okay. 140. I'm happy. That's decent enough. With how easy I think his lane was, I think he should have... Like if it... <laughs> I could have around 170, but I mean, 150, that's pretty good. Oh, Silas, you're a greedy little boy, aren't you? Yes, you are.
He's very greedy. I almost killed him. If I landed in that second W, he would have been toasted and roasted. Oh, I'm dead. Viego's doing some serious damage. He has more gold spent than me somehow. He was too full item. Don't know how that came to be. He has I Iceborne and something else. He did so much. 1700. Viego might have been able to solo me there, which is freaking crazy. The blue jungle item does nothing. Does very little. Vague has the flank. He drops the cage. Rock. QR. Not bad. He got a little bit close to where he probably could have healed off him if he spammed it in time, but not bad. Oh, I gotta stop dying, bruh. Focus the Draven! These Thresh Walls are freaking brutal. Yeah, Viego went Bork Iceborne. That's really annoying build. We should be able to outscale it. I think Iceborne falls off pretty hard. Pretty hard indeed. I think we should all die for Dragon here. Is GP baiting me? I think I'm getting debated here. Yeah, Thresh didn't land his thing. Oh, that didn't feel good. I got a heal off of something. I don't want Soraka to waste all of her HP healing me. I can heal back off of one camp. Holy moly, these guys are so fed. Even though we've played the way we've played, they're just as fed as I am in terms of gold spent. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Kind of have to hold on to my EQ here to deal with this butthole. Oh, that's big. We get the knock up. Down he goes. Draven and him both threw that pretty hard. We get the knock up, sidestep, and the W. Gore drinked him. I mean, keep stepping outside of his barrels as well. Yeah, they're all dead. They got a good cage on the Draven. I think that's what happened, at least. They all died for it. That's all I know. That fight got real messy for him. When Viego went in for the Soraka, that's when I knew they were screwed. Because even if he kills her, then what? Soraka abilities aren't very impactful to use. We get an objective bounty, and there we go. It's all about the dragons. Lethal Tempo is going to carry us through. Draven's Hell of Blades is fallen off. He's thrown all of his shutdown gold consistently. The most challenging thing about their team compared to last game is they have so much melee damage with the Viego like GP Silas that can get on top of us pretty quick to where our R isn't helping us as much as it was previously. We have to have better or more thoughtful timing of the R for damage mitigation. What is going on here? Smite onto the Draven. He gets exhausted. Exhaust is OP, dude. Exhaust is the most broken sum in the game. I don't even want the minions. Oh, bro. How does he actually get hooked every time? I died, but... Okay, but nothing. <laughs> it's just I die, GP walks up. Oh, I should have just let Ezreal die. I just wanted raptors, bro. Ezreal walks straight into melee range under turret into thresh hook. It's amazing. Taking a lot of magic damage. We could push for wit's end here instead of uh, death stance. 
Yes, Silas is their only AP, so I'm not going to do that for now. That's, well... Could go Bork. Bork might make sense. And then go Death Stance? Yeah, let's do that. I think that makes the most sense. Bork's damage output is really, 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 really high for a non-hit build. <laughs> Getting Bork this late and our build is just fine. You generally see someone get it first two or three items. Even this late should give some pretty good value. I ghosted for this, but I'm not going to get anything out of it. Yeah, I just died and trolled. The team has so much damage output. I died in uh, like four seconds. And that's even with my R on. Vagar on the split. If he doesn't group, this game is 100% over. But if he does group, we 100% win. I shouldn't have gone in though. I thought I could run down the Draven Thresh. They're too fast. Thresh Lantern plus Draven speed up. It would take me a considerable amount of ghosts just to get to them. Let alone uh, be able to stay on top of them. Because even once we get to the Thresh, he flays us off. And then we die. But hey, Vagar got a turret. That's worth, right? That's very worth. Psych. That's not worth. All we have to do is team fight. We've won the last two or three in a row. They can't win a team fight. Vague Cage counters melees, and Kate melees kind of counter my R. I can also push them into the Vague Cage with my R. Vague Cage is, I think, a two, two and a quarter second. Stun or it's a, just a two-second flat. I don't remember. Lost all my Ravenous Hydra. At 14 out of 40 stacks on it. Bit of a yikes. They're heavily grouped. Thresh is probably over here right now. Unless Draven's just trolling. Yeah, he's just trolling. Almost got a double. Even if Thresh was there, I still think I killed a Draven. They, like, what is happening here? At least he gets the kill. One for one isn't horrible, but the positioning was pretty bad. He, there was no rush, as you see. They can only really take this so fast. He could have just gone the long way around, spent an extra eight seconds or whatever. Aurelia going in, she gets the thresh, GP gets a kill. He has so many items, dude. He's so, so many items. I want dragon. Really, really want dragon. If Draven rushes it, I don't think I could get there in time. I'll ghost for it. Even if we don't get dragon, maybe we can get a killer too. Looks like they didn't really press for it. It's kind of interesting. Waste of a ghost. Yes, yes, I know. We're not getting any value out of it anyways. Got it. Double flame works wonders for Robin on champs like Vague. Yeah, I kind of need the blue buff more than Ezreal. He has Muramana. He'll never ever run out of mana in a team fight as long as he starts with above half. I guess you could say I'll never run out of mana because I keep getting five man focused. Now that we're grouping... We actually might run out of mana. Pop the R. Got him with another W. Gore drink. Back into the Draven. Trying to weave out of the GP barrel ranges. Gotcha, GP. Yeah, sidestepping those GP barrels in a team fight is extremely frantic. I don't know if you guys saw that there, but... It we moved out of the way of one or two of them. With R on, it makes it very hard for Draven to get any real damage on us. We'd already put so much on him. That might just be GG's. 
I made plenty of mistakes this game. But the mistakes were... The, the mistakes were basically... I didn't know where everyone on their team was. And I was forcing a fight that didn't need to be forced. That is essentially what it is. All I have to do is wait for us to team fight since I've already established the lead that we have. And Draven's fallen off so freaking hard now. Hellblade's Draven is pretty close to useless in the late game versus a comp like ours. Now I see Viego trolling. You see his Iceborne falling off a little bit. Hey, Thresh. The knock up on him. GP is kiting us out with barrels a little bit. His barrels are actually mauling my team. But now he dies. We're too tanky for that. Just had to line him up. He's dead. Oh, thank God's rocket came back. I did Draven have shield bow or something? He was so tanky. I don't know if he had shield bow, but it felt like it. All right, I'll just take your base then. Don't mind if I do. What a nasty, ugly game on Xin Zhao. But hey, got it in the end. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most damage in the game. I'm a little surprised because we were making so many mistakes there in the mid late game. For damage taken, we've taken the most in the game. All right, Zin's broken. Holy moly. Self-mitigated, we're going to be the highest as well. Yep. So took the most, self-mitigated the most, and dealt the most. That's not balanced. Whenever a champion can do that, that's when you know that A, tanks aren't viable or aren't very good, or B, tanks are way too strong and they're the ones doing the most damage. And right now, we're in the meta where you're going to be hard-pressed to find a tank that's dealing the most damage since they nerfed heart still now when heart still was out of control then sure tanks could do this but now you don't really see it you always see bruisers with the most damage generally like even the viego with his iceborne had more than the gp who was landing massive aoe team fight barrels which is crazy so yeah anyways a lot of fun zin Zhao, highly recommend him with the ravenous into gore drink third item semi-situational death stance bork ma they're all really solid i wouldn't really go for something like frozen heart just because then is such an on hit shred machine but yeah a lot of fun if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time